You have to have the qalb open and the ilm open in order for these two things to gel together to give people the journey into faith. Christianity, I always used to question not the stories of the Bible, I always used to love the stories of the Bible, stories of the prophet, but I always used to question the concept of uh, the Trinity. Another one of the problems that I had with Christianity was the authenticity of the Bible. And so I would question, okay, if this is the word of God, why am I finding contradictions? When I was a teenager, one of my close friends, who was a Muslim girl, I used to go nightclubbing with her. And this is what really led me to looking into Islam itself. So he comes back to me and he said, okay, I have some verses of the Qur'an and so he told me and showed me the verses about the, the, the child being created in the womb of the mother, about the, uh, the, the mountains being the stakes mm. in the earth, many scientific facts out of the Qur'an and I was amazed. <laughs> I came into the room at the moment when Bilal is doing the Adhan on the top of the Kaaba and I heard this amazing sound and I didn't know a single word of what it meant. The Adhan? The Adhan. Every single hair on my body stood up and I got what I can only describe as a, a wash of Iman. I remember it was on a Thursday um, and I went down there and took my shahada and that's where my journey, alhamdulillah, as a Muslim began. And that's also where my journey of da'wah began.